Mr. Yes. How you doing over there? Doing fine, thank you. How you doing? Good. My name is Dazi Klepalowicz. Who? Dazi Klepalowicz. Uh-huh. And I'd like to officially welcome you all to the neighborhood. Where do you live in the neighborhood? I'm down at uh, 57. Well, I've got to get used to the neighborhood. I'm still a little turned around. Well, we want to welcome you. What we always say is hope, hope, hope you're doing great. Welcome to the Garden State. Well, I appreciate you calling and uh, welcome me to the neighborhood. You got it. Now, listen, I'm the president of the Neighborhood Association up here. Uh-huh. And I just wanted to run over a few of the uh, details about our little community here. Uh, okay. Because we believe cooperation breeds contentment. We all get along very well and we want you to join our little family. Well, I appreciate that. Now, I understand you guys are from the South? Uh, yes, we are from South Carolina. Is that right? Uh -huh. Do you own uh, guns? Uh... No, I left my guns in South Carolina. I used to do a little hunting. Okay, well we can get you some. Uh-huh. For we, what? What's that? Uh, for what? Some guns. Uh-huh. Why, why would I want some guns? Well, you know, to keep your eye out for the less desirables. Uh, in the neighborhood? Exactly. You know what I mean? Well, no, not exactly. Well, you can't be too careful. Uh-huh. Well, I understand that. We keep a fully stocked arsenal down at Frank Atchison's house. Where now, does he live? Now, Frank's got the ranch at the end of the block. Uh-huh. Have you seen it? I'm not sure. He's got them mushroom asses all over the yard. Uh-huh. I, I might know where you're talking about. Uh, I'm not sure. But go on. <laughs> you, you still there? Actually, that's Mrs. Atchison. She does that. She's a lovely woman. Atchison. Uh, Except for that one lazy eye. Lazy eye. Yeah, she's got to kind of stand to the side of you to actually look at you. Uh-huh. She's got, it's a little grotesque looking. But what a dartstress. A yeah, she's, uh, well, let me just put it this way. Don't ever get sucked into a little casual dart game in the Atchison basement. She's a hell of a player, I'll tell you. She puts a patch over that bum peeper, and it's one bullseye after another. Uh-huh. Yeah, so don't let her suck you into a game. Okay, and this is part of the Neighborhood Association yeah, well, get -together. we Yeah, we have a little get-together once a month. Uh -huh. Anyways, have you had your washer and dryer hooked up yet? Uh, no, we haven't. Not yet. Uh, but, um, when do you think? On that. When do you think that's going to happen? I, I hope um, by the end of the day. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, because your day would be Monday. My day for what? What we do is we take a day and we do Slippery's laundry. Who? Slippery. Slippery. Right. Unfortunately, you got Monday after the weekend. Where does Slippery live? Slippery's in seventy-four. You've probably seen him around. The, the kids call him Runny. He jogs a lot? No, no. He runs a lot. He runs a lot. Which is why you got to do the laundry. Oh. He, yeah. <laughs> Slippery. Slippery. Have you seen him? No, I don't think so. He's about seven feet tall, big red hair. Nope. I okay. haven't seen that gentleman. You'll see him. Uh, and I have to do his laundry? <laughs> Only... Does he, does he live by himself? Uh, yes. He's, he's... Yes. And he's part of the association and everybody. Right. They uh, help him out. Yeah, but you only have Monday. Now, what he does is he leaves the panties in a stork diaper pail outside the back door. Uh-huh. And we hung one of them pine tree air fresheners on the inside. So just load up on the bleach ski if you get me. You know what I mean? Uh, I understand I, it's a little bit different than probably what you're used to. Uh, it is a little bit. A little, a little bit. I mean, you, but you probably help neighbors out in the south. Oh, yeah, we, we help each other out. Though. You know, we say the good with the bad, right? we got a beautiful spot here. Uh-huh, you do. The only thing i got to warn you about is 184. 184. Yeah, we got some uh, alternative lifestyles, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. maybe you better define that. Well, you know, it's Joe and Josephine. Uh-huh. They're both uh, female people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. But listen, that is not your problem unless, of course, you want to sign up for the harassment committee. The harassment. You know, you come to a meeting, check it out. It's not for everybody. Last thing is the widow Blickhauser. Now, she's going to need some, you know, service. What kind of service? Well, you know, I, I don't know how they say that in the South, but she needs some servicing. Mm -hmm. um, every third week or so, uh -huh. you got to you gotta go down and zap her. I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know that my wife would really go for that. No, no, and you know, you got to clear it with the missus, of course. And if you want to take the pass the first month, no problemo. I think I'll take the pass the first month. You're going to pass on it? I, I appreciate it, though. Very nice of you to, uh, to put me on the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, a lot of the neighbors want to spread out as far as they can get it. Yeah, she's not. She's kind of long in the tooth. Kind of what? Actually, she doesn't really have many teeth. Uh-huh. You know. She just turned 100. I see, and she's still very active. Quite active, yes. Maybe I'm not quite as active as she is. You don't think you could keep up with her? <clears throat> uh, well, I, I don't think I really want to try. <laughs> no, you're probably not interested in... Uh, well, like I say, I give you the pass on that. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, and you've probably figured out that this is a little joke, haven't you, sir? Well, the real estate agent <laughs> didn't tell me about a homeowner's association. That usually comes along with a nice neighborhood like this. That's but. right, and and your cousin who helped you relocate, who you're living near, actually thought it might be funny to kind of welcome you to the area with a little phone scam. Uh-huh, well, I'll be saying maybe uh, my cousin would be happy going to the doctor <laughs> trying to get my foot out her ass. <laughs> oh. Scott Montan in the morning. Booyah! PLJ.